another episode of Jenny Time with me, Jenny from Jenny Time. Today I'm going to be talking about stress and how I cope with stress, how I cope with a chronic illness and the stress that accompanies it as well as the stress that accompanies being a homeschooler. As some of you may not know, a lot of you probably do if you follow my Instagram, but if you don't and you just follow me on here, I switched to homeschooling about November last year, so November 2018, somehow around then. I was doing really, really bad with my health. I was missing so much school and it was stressing me out so much. Just having so much to do as well as missing out on schoolwork and then having to catch up on that schoolwork when it being back at school as well as doing the work that I need for that week. Just, it was a constant cycle of stress. It was just a time where I was so stressed, which obviously stress uh, doesn't help a chronic illness. And also having a chronic illness doesn't help stress. It's a vicious cycle that you can never fully break. But this video, is more not how to stop stress because you know, everyone suffers from stress. It's just a thing of life. Everyone suffers from it. You can't avoid stress. Something in life is going to stress you out, be it a job, be it an illness, be it family matters. So anything can stress you out and will stress you out. But today's video is more dealing with stress, my coping mechanisms for stress, and how maybe my ways might help you if you're dealing with a lot of stress. So let's get into it. I've written out loads of little bits and bobs that I want to mention in this, what was that? I've wrote out loads of bits and bobs I want to mention in this video. One was what stresses me out. I think I've kind of covered that mostly, but that was what used to stress me out and now just being sick just everything with being sick having to worry about going to appointments having to worry about taking all your meds did i miss this med did i take my meds things like that um and then you know the stress of just everyday tasks so a an able-bodied person can get dressed can shower can do everything by themselves whereas a disabled person, a chronically ill person, anything like that, that is 10 times harder. And for me, what really stresses me out is not exactly, you know, getting, having to get the help, but the fact that I can't do it by myself. Certain things where, you know, I'm trying to cut food up and I just cannot do it. It annoys me because I'm like, oh my God, why cannot, why can't my joints work? Why can't I do this? If I drop something, if I can't do something, it just stresses me out. The not being able to do it, I'm so grateful and thankful to have people in my life that will actually help me with it. And it's not that aspect, it's the aspect of just, oh my God, why can I not do it? And then another thing that really stresses me out, uh, aside from the illness, is homeschooling so I know as I said I stopped going to regular school is that what you call it and switched to doing homeschooling in November and that doesn't mean that my stress is stopped there's still stress with having to teach myself subjects because here in Ireland we do not have like a homeschooling system, an online system like they have in other countries. We're such a small country, our government won't fund it. I think it would be so helpful. I'm not the only person that's ever done homeschooling. You know, it would be handy to have some sort of system. Now, the government will fund certain hours a week of tutoring. Um, I got granted seven hours for the for fifth year and I did do my tutoring but it was too hard for me physically mentally it was too difficult now 
my tutor was amazing. Um, but she still gave homework. I had to learn things, you know, for the next week. Um, and then also doing three hours of tutoring was taking it out of me. I was exhausted constantly. It all just, it was eating into the time that I should have been doing other subjects. There was a whole thing with it. Um, so I took the decision, me and my parents took the decision to stop homeschooling for now. Now I will likely recommence it come sixth year, so come September this year. But for now, I've eliminated that because it was stressing me out so much. But because I don't have tutoring now for French, I have to teach myself everything else. Now, I did find a resource called homeschool.ie that does have it, but you have to pay for it. Um, and it's, you know, pretty pricey. So I have one subject, which is maths on that. And I teach myself everything else, which is stressful so stressful especially if i do not understand something i have to search for ages trying to make videos on it it's hard to just not have someone telling you oh this is how this works this is how this works no that question's wrong this is how you should have phrased it things like that i don't have that help and that can be stressful that's kind of roughly what stresses me out obviously other things will stress me out there's little stress things here little things here but when I start to feel extremely stressed to the point where I'm panicking or having, you know, close to having a panic attack or having a panic attack, what I do to relax myself, calm me down. The main thing, if I am getting extremely, extremely, extremely worked out, like so stressed to the point where I am having a panic attack or know I'm about to panic, you know, I'm starting to hyperventilate, uh, <laughs> this might sound weird but I've seen this technique for different things and it really works if you keep counting your fingers like this so like one two three four one two three you know or one two three four five counting to ten counting your fingers you know if you just concentrate on counting your fingers it sounds so weird but it takes your mind off what you were panicking about because you're thinking about another thing and so when I'm extremely stressed to the point, as I said, of really panicking and starting to hyperventilate, I just sit down and I just count my fingers. And for some reason, it really works, uh, especially for me, may not work for you. But for me, I notice when I'm really panicking, really getting stressed out, counting my fingers really calms me down. Some other things when you are really stressed out, not to the point of like panic attacks, but your everything is just stressing you out and you just feel so down and stressed and nothing's going right. You're just struggling with everything. You're so stressed out about your job, your health, anything like that. Some ways that I find, you know, kind of helps you take your mind off stress helps calm you down. Um, one, I would suggest, if you possibly can, reducing your workload. So if you have so many things on you, you have you know 10 assignments to do, talk to your teacher if you're homeschooling yourself like me. Just cut it back, do it another day, leave it for next week. And instead of doing 10 things in one day, do five things split that out over the next few days. You know, you don't need to pile everything on yourself. If it's impacting your health, you need to take action. There's no point in doing a hundred things if it's impacting your health. If you are not well and you're so stressed that you're not doing your job properly or you're not completing your assignments properly, you know, you can't study because you have 10 other things to study and your mind is on that. You need to take action and you need to reduce your workload. Now I know if you're in school, you have to do your assignments. If you're in work, you have to do it. But talk to your teacher, talk to your principal, talk to your boss, talk to your coworkers, reduce your load, say to your teacher, look, I can't, get this done, it's impacting my health. 
do you mind if I do half now, half the next day, something like that. If you're in work, try and maybe see if any of your co-workers, you can share your tasks around. You know, you could take one of the things from them, they'll take on your thing. You know, if they're stressed, you'll in turn take something from them. Reducing your workload helps. I know that sounds really weird and it sounds like, you know, like because I can personally reduce my work, you may not technically be able to. But it's just a suggestion, if you can't do it, you can work out a different way to relieve your stress. But that would be just the main thing. Don't take on too much responsibility. So top ways I deal with stress, other than, you know, reducing your workload. Um, taking a bath is so good because you're relaxing your muscles you're taking your mind off everything you know you're just relaxing in the hot water for a while if you want you could read a book watch a movie or anything like that to just take your mind off it and relax don't keep thinking about everything light a few candles and just relax self-care is so important as i always say if you don't have your health if your mental health is really bad they're the two most important things your mental health and your physical health if you don't have them you don't have anything if you don't have your physical or mental health and you're in a really bad place you're not going to get work done anyway and if you keep keep going the way you're going and stressing and stressing and stressing you are going to break eventually and you don't want that to happen so you need to take action take a bath i know it sounds really weird but relax you kind of think after you relax you're like oh maybe this isn't such a big job you know come back to it another day and you're like actually i, I don't know what i was getting so stressed about this is actually pretty easy etc it just takes your mind off it you're relaxing you know you're doing something you like you're watching something you have your favorite tv show you're reading one of a book you love or you're reading a new book that you might really like something like that next thing which i love doing and also when i reached out and asked some people on instagram how they relax when they're really stressed um a good stress reliever for them is drawing or coloring um so using adult coloring books drawing a picture uh, and then another way I love to do relaxation with drawing is digital art. So you're doing something again that you love, that is going to take your mind off the work that you have to do. It's going to relax your mind. It's going to put you in a better place. You'll be more positive because you've taken time to care for yourself. You need to take care of yourself. And that is the top most thing. I can't stress that enough. If you need to do something you love, you need to just relax and take your mind off things for a while. I feel like I'm constantly repeating myself, um, but drawing really helps, especially like adult coloring books and things like that. Like they are so relaxing, just coloring in little things. Other ways, that I've seen or that I have used. Meditation, yoga, anything like that that you love to do, do it. Meditation is very good for helping to relieve stress and helping to unwind. If you've had a really stressful, busy day, come home, take a bath, watch your favorite movie and then meditate. Do a guided meditation is probably the best thing to do. It works, just try it. Trust me, if you're feeling stressed, meditation will help. Next thing I said here is um, one thing I love to do if I'm feeling a bit stressed is do my makeup. I love to do makeup to relax me. Um, again, that kind of, if you think of it, like art is relaxing and makeup is basically just art on your face. I'm putting the reflection on and just playing around with eye, eye shadows, playing around with different looks, trying to perfect your wing liner. It again will take your mind off what you're thinking and will help you. Now, the next thing that I wanna mention is a big point. This isn't a point as to kind of ways to reduce your stress. This is a point that if you are at the point where your stress is impacting your life 
and you are just so stressed, you're not doing great mentally, talk to someone, anyone. Talk to a friend, talk to your parents, or you could talk to a professional, like a psychologist. If you're really stressed, they're going to give you techniques. A psychologist will really help you. They will give you techniques on how to relax, good ways to, you know, keep your mind off it, and they will help. But talking to anyone always helps. Getting everything on your plate, off your chest, and telling someone, anyone, it helps. Talking about your health, your mental health, talking about how stressed you are, helps. I cannot, again, stress that enough. If you're not doing well, you need to talk to someone. If you keep bottling everything up, you will burst. And it's just a fact, talking helps. I've seen so many people do this. I haven't actually done this. So technically I can't say that like I've proven that it works, but I've seen so many people do this and it apparently works so well. The next one is physical activity. Walks are so good. I go on walks, I can do that, but I can't do long walks. But going on walks really helps. Runs, obviously, I cannot run. But if you can possibly run and you're, you know, you can run, go for a run. A walk clears your head. Getting in some fresh air always helps. And then the next thing I saw was working out. Working out apparently can really, really help your stress. Obviously, I can't do proper workouts. Like I do my exercises that I need to do for physio and things like that, but I can't do a proper workout. But it works apparently. It all just clears your head. Walks especially, I've seen that everywhere and personally I know it helps. It's proven that walking 30 minutes every day in the fresh air helps, but if you can't do that, do 10 minutes, do 20 minutes, walk as long as you possibly can and just take in some air, listen to your favorite music or talk with someone else if you're going on a walk. It helps and again, mental health and physical health are your number one priority. Get them, you have nothing. So that is everything I have written down, um, gone through. I feel like for half of this, I'm just repeating the same things over and over again, but there's some really, really important points. And again, you need to take care of yourself. Self-care is the most important thing. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this maybe helped in some way. If this even helps one person, it is totally worth it. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got some valuable tips from this. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next time on Jenny Time. Bye.